After Neat PC results came out, I spent a lot of time over the last three months trying to think of what branch I want to do and why I want to do it. And I was, for some reason, really anxious about all of this and my decision. And I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Like up to the last day, one day before counseling, I was still doubting my decision. I thought it would be a good idea to maybe like just spontaneously record whatever thoughts I'm getting in my head. Maybe it would make for a good video. And I just put it all together right now and I'm uploading this right now after taking admission already in my PG branch. Also, noticing that a lot of people are trying to reach out to me via Instagram. But the thing is, that account is private for friends and family. So I will link another Instagram account down under the video. So if you guys want to follow and keep up with what is going on in my life, uh, in residency and everything else. And if you guys want to reach out to me via DMs, then you can do so there. I will probably not be able to reply to each and every single DM because I'm going to get really busy really soon. But I'm just going to make the Instagram available. And also my email is right below. Some of you have emailed and reached out to me about studies and just to show your support, which is so kind of you. And it made me feel really happy so yeah these are two ways to reach out to me in case you want to so yeah i hope you guys like it so our counseling is going to start anytime soon pondicherry states counseling started yesterday all india counseling might start soon or our state counseling might start soon uh, i want to record confusion which i'm feeling regarding what branch i want to take and where i want to take it because I think many of us do not feel 100% confident about any single branch. We feel this immense pressure while selecting what branch we want to do in post-graduation because you hear everybody saying that just go for the one thing which you love the most or the one thing which you're passionate about. There are people who are so immensely passionate about surgery, OBGY or medicine and pediatrics. You see these people talking about their branch so with so much certainty and then you question whether your reasons for selecting a certain branch or selecting what you want to do with your entire remaining life whether those reasons are correct and whether you are rushing and making a wrong decision which you might regret the rest of your life giving neat and doing well in neat is just one part of the entire picture the other part is knowing what you want to do and having the guts to endure that during your the three years of your residency originally i had told myself that I will study with the aim of radiology in my mind because radio and dermat are said to be one of the highest in-demand branches out of all and only the people with really amazing ranks get to you know select these two branches during counseling. I, it was not that I particularly wanted to do radiology, I just wanted a rank good enough to be able to choose radio so that then I can have the liberty of choosing whatever I want. I know this sounds a bit privileged and like first world problems, I know. But now that I have all the options possible ahead of me, my mind has gone into an overdrive of overthinking and questioning and exaggerating all the questions I have in my mind about every single branch which I would be interested in taking. I just know for sure that I don't want to do a surgical branch. That is one thing I am very very sure about. My options are narrowed down to radio, dermat, pediatrics and medicine. It's proving to be really difficult to choose out of these four. I am going to sit down and make like a pros and cons list like grade every single pro and con for each branch. I think this is how most of our brains work right now like whoever has given neat pg and is now in the process of selecting their branch i think everybody is going through this dilemma and i would just like to share my part of this entire journey please don't hate me for being all like oh i want radio or i want dermat or i want medicine like i know it sounds very privileged but it is what it is these are the branches i'm interested in and these are the branches which are proving to give me a tough time selecting any one of them so i'm just going to be completely transparent and share my thoughts on every single branch why i will ultimately choose whatever branch i will end up choosing during counseling and uh, then I uh, thought of Derma versus Radio. So I thought of taking Derma over Radio because I did Dermatology and uh, then there is fel different fellowships if you are, you know, you want to go further, there is a uh, uh, sought after, you know, uh, to say. Uh, so basically uh, what a radiologist uh, does is a lot of things. It's a very, very flexible branch.
Hi, so I'm back from shadowing slash observing a really well-renowned physician in my hometown. And after speaking to him as well as few other people, I have realized that to take up general medicine for my postgraduate branch, I have to be mentally prepared to do super specialty after I'm done with PG. Because like already the trend in tier one, tier two cities is that people are leaning towards super specialists for even basic things like for diabetes, people will go to endocrinologists. For any cardiac related thing, people will go to cardiologists. It's only in periphery, like in my hometown, that people will go to a general medicine practitioner for complicated issues like these or they'll go to general medicine physician for ICU care and for such things. It's likely that by the time I start practicing, that is four to five years down the line, things are going to get even more competitive. Like even when I come back to a town like mine, I will have to compete with others who have way more experience than I do or have more education and better education or a higher degree than I do. So I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm not cut out for general medicine. Also, I always thought to myself that I want to do an end branch uh, somewhere where I don't have to give another need or uh, need super specialty. I always told myself that. Something else which I also want is I want a good work-life balance. I know that when you are becoming a doctor, you kind of have to assume that work-life balance is not there in your picture. But if I can have it, I do want it. Like, I do not want to work obsessively. I want to work and I want to pursue my interest but at the same time I do want to consider all these other factors such as getting time to myself, being able to focus on my health and on my family's health. These are things that I certainly want to consider. It's like either the brain or the heart. Brain is telling me maybe it's not for me. Today I'm visiting a radiologist and I'm going to be shadowing him for some time throughout the day. I've been trying to get an idea of how uh, different fields work in the private sector because I think there is a big difference of how a field is in the government setup versus a private setup and how residents work versus how physicians and consultants work at a greater experience level and that is what majority of our lives are going to be. So I'm trying to get an idea of today of what radiology could look like if I plan to take it up in my future. Hi. I had a lot of fun uh, shadowing the radiologist today. The doctor I spoke to and I observed today, he was a musculoskeletal specialist and he was very kind to let me observe his practice, see him work in real life. I wanted to film a bit there, but I didn't think it was appropriate because privacy for the patients, because there were certain procedures which they did, ultrasound guided procedures, which I got to observe. And I did not think Filming was appropriate in that setting. Also, I felt a bit shy. I really had a lot of fun because I did not observe a private radiologist practice before. It's more hands-on than I expected. Maybe it's because it was a musculoskeletal subspecialty of radiology and not general radiology itself. There was quite a lot of patient interaction, like explaining the condition, the diagnosis to the patient, explaining what differentials you have what could be the causes for certain muscular pain or how to use physiotherapy to alleviate or to uh, reduce the pain. Like you comfort the patient, you are providing them with pain relief by using the ultrasound guided procedures. They were injecting a local anesthetic and a steroid into the joint spaces for osteoarthritis. There was more patient interaction than what I anticipated for a branch like radiology. So recently me and my family had gone to Delhi for uh, an event and when we were there, we took the opportunity to visit and check out one of the hospitals and colleges, which I'm interested in but depends on whether I take a certain branch. So if I take medicine, I am really looking into that college. Not so much if I take any other branch, but for medicine, I have heard it's really great. And some of my seniors are there as well. And when I went there and I met those uh, seniors, we spoke to them, my parents were there. They saw the campus. There's a new hostel, which is going to be inaugurated pretty soon. And maybe it will be in use for my batch and further on. 
so looking at all of that it was really exciting i really liked their system of how the like ems or emr like how that works and how the casualty system is how the wards are divided the number of residents per unit i really liked all of that excited me for medicine as a branch but i don't know if these are the correct reasons for choosing a branch like whether you are interested in the college i know for a fact that it should be the other way around you should be choosing a branch first and then going after a certain college for that counseling notice has come out today and like uh, with the dates when is it's going to start the registration the choice filling everything and i have a preliminary decision in my mind but i'm feeling extremely unsure about it i'm in two minds so much dilemma so much confusion yeah the next few days are going to be filled with a lot of introspection and a lot of questioning myself talking to more people and just coming to a decision where i feel like i won't regret it later it's 24th july today only 3 days to go for counseling to start and i am going right now to um, shadow a radiologist uh, i finished uh, the process of registration on the mcc website 3 days ago counseling was supposed to start like choice filling was supposed to start 2 days ago it has not started the seat matrix came out yesterday the whole process is i think a little bit delayed it's going to get slightly postponed i'm not complaining so yeah So I have decided to go ahead and take radiology. I finished filling my choices, my preferences, and I finished locking them about a week ago. The reason why I'm happy with my choice is I think I am not only looking at like a short term picture, but also at the bigger picture of what I want my life to look like. I am hoping my interest in radiology will only continue to grow. When I was observing others, I really enjoyed usg ultrasounds and ultrasound guided procedures ct and mris i did not understand so much so there was no scope of enjoying those i am hoping that soon as i start understanding these things i will gain more interest in them i will continue to learn more and more i feel like everyone in radio is starting at a baseline level where they don't know much level 0 again bottom level just like everyone around me just like all my colleagues there will be a chance to study and keep growing and improve my potential it's really exciting today i am going to go to the college to take my admission i'm continuing to stay in the same city i don't know if i should mention the college name right now so i will not mention it like i don't know for safety purposes yeah i'm pretty happy with the college i've selected and i'm going to start my residency in about two weeks and it's crazy to think that i will be a resident in my head i'm still an mbbs undergrad student even when i was an intern it never hit me that i am an intern so the fact that i'm going to become a resident is even more wild once i start residency i am sure is going to be a wonderful time a wonderful process and a great journey and i am going to continue to share it with you guys so thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for watching me go through contemplation and overthinking and just questioning everything that i want in life and coming to a decision finally at the end of it so thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one